Day YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick look at the latest release of Fedora OS, so Fedora version 35. Now this is actually the beta release, so it's not officially out yet. Not too long to go, but let's just have a look at some of the feature basics, the version in updates, all sorts of things there. Now starting off, uh, Fedora really uh, really gets into the GNOME shell or the GNOME desktop environment there. They have updated it recently in uh, Fedora version 34. It looks fairly similar to that, but it's, it's got a nice clean and crisp look to it. I am quite the fan, I've got to say there. So if we have a look at a few things here, we've got some basic uh, context menu options there. The activities section, so you can uh, type in and look for, I don't know, maybe some Tux game or something like that. Uh, Tuxbox, okay, great. But uh, yeah, basically the GNOME desktop environment. In fact, GNOME 41, like I've said there. Uh, now, .rc.1 just stands for Release Candidate 1. As, like I said, it is in beta mode there. Uh, moving on, uh, we can have a look at say, something like the File Manager. Now, the File Manager is, uh, as you might guess, it's uh, something called Files. So, loading that one up there. Also, version 41. So, basically, this is GNOME Files, which means well, it's actually just really synonymous with uh, the, the GNOME shell or the GNOME desktop environment as well. So, uh, simple, effective, it is what it is. I like it. There we go, moving on. Uh, next up is the, the kernel. Now, the kernel on Fedora does like to be the, one of the latest and greatest, the, the bleeding edge variety. So we can see the 5.14, uh, which is better than Ubuntu, Debian, and most of the others there. So 5.14, allowing you to, to use uh, newer hardware, for instance, newer CPUs, be it AMD or Intel, graphics cards, all sorts of things. So nicely done there. If we have a look at uh, some of the usage now, it is one of uh, what I consider the, the more heavier, uh, I guess, uh, out of the box RAM usage operating systems. You can see it's here, it's uh, straight out of the box, 1.5 gigabytes of data. So a little bit high for my liking, but if you've got the hardware to run it, then hey, why not? Uh, this is really going a bit warm here with the CPU. We can see the GNOME shell is taking up most of the data there, or the RAM, I should say. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Just uh, having a look at some of the feature basics, the version in, all sorts of things like that for Fedora 35, currently in beta. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one. Cheers.